this is a review on the Depstech HD Wi-Fi inspection camera. I picked this up probably about six months ago. I've had a chance to use it a couple of times now on the RV, so I wanted to talk about that and share some of the footage that I took from this and uh, what my impressions are on it. So stay tuned and we're going to cover the Depstech Wi-Fi inspection camera. So opening the box, what do you get? Well, you get the uh, Wi-Fi to mini Wi-Fi, uh, not Wi-Fi, I'm sorry, USB to mini USB uh, charging cord, and I think you can do updates and things like that with uh, the actual bore scope itself. Um, it's got the older style USB on it. We can get that on the camera, there we go. Uh, so it's not the, the new, what is that, the uh, Samsung Galaxy 8, I think it is. It's got the new rounded uh, micro USB thing. Also inside the box is a, a hook that fits on the end of the bore scope itself. And I haven't used it, but I find that the hook just in looking at it, I mean, it's it's constructed nice. It seems like it's sturdy enough, but um, I don't know. It, it it's uh, it's got a concaved uh, feel to it, and I think they did that to give it some some strength and rigidity. So I don't know how easy you know. It's not going to pick up something really fine if you drop it down in a hole or whatever. It's not flexible at all, so you can't adjust the size or the the type of bend it is. But say like if you dropped a um, set of keys or something down in a drain or whatever, you could probably fish those out pretty easy with the hook. Uh, also inside the box is a magnet. That also fits on the end of the bore scope. You unscrew the tip here and this will just uh, screw in in place of that. Uh, let's see, is this magnet? Yeah, it's magnetic. It's got a uh, pretty good pickup to it. So, you know, maybe like a small socket or something like that, it would pick that up, I think, pretty easy. This thing, um, it's probably like a, a reset key or something like that. If you if you had to hit a, like, do a hard reset or something, I, I, I don't really know what that's for. Just kind of guessing. Haven't had to use it, so we'll set that aside. This one here, I did try to use this one. Um, and that's a probably around a 45 degree angle. Uh, I don't know how well we can get that on camera here. Let's see. But it's got a mirror inside of there. And in theory, what, what that would be for is... Let's see. We can move my finger. That will actually pick up the sunlight out of the window. But what you could do is you would also put that on the end of the bore scope. So instead of looking straight down with the bore scope, now it's looking down into the mirror and you're looking out at a 90 degree angle, you know, say like you want to look inside of a tank, um, that would give you the ability to do that. Also inside the box is the bore scope itself. It's got the Wi-Fi transmitter on it. And I forget how many feet of cable this is. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I want to say it was right around 8 feet. I think eight or ten feet um, give you an idea of how rigid it is it is flexible it's also got a, a um, certain amount of rigidity to it as you can kind of see so you can bend that or manipulate that into different um, orientations say if you're gonna if you've got a, a, a space that you want to get into and you've got a enough room to get the camera in there you can actually bend that 90 degrees uh, of course you would need a space big enough to feed that all in there at the same time or you can put your mirror on of course um, everything's backwards in my my viewfinder here um, let's see if this will actually I don't know I haven't charged it in a while we'll see if it if it's going to power up doesn't look like this one's going to um, I actually, I, when I ordered this, I accidentally ordered two. Uh, I just ordered it off of Amazon. And um, I'll include a, uh, in the description and a, in a subtitle what the cost of this was. I have to look it up real quick. 
but I accidentally ordered two. So let me grab the other one. I think the other one's still charged up. So let me grab that real quick. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. So it's got a light on the end of it. Um, and you can adjust the brightness of the light. I think you can turn the light off altogether. You can get like kind of a low. I'm turning it slowly here. There's a dial on the side of the of the transmitter. And I think it just kind of comes up incrementally. Uh, you can adjust it, but it's not a super fine adjustment. That's all. That's as bright as it gets. Um, give you an idea. See if we can. You can see that on my hand there. Where's that? There we go. Give you an idea how bright. That's the brightest intensity of the light. So, um, with this thing being a Wi-Fi transmitter. The benefits to that, you download an app, and I'll look up the app. I think it also runs off the Depth Tech with the same name on the box here. You can look that up in the App Store. I would imagine the Google Play Store also. And by putting the app on, like my phone for instance, um, this connects, when you, when you install the app, you turn this on, and you go into, say, like an Apple device for instance, you go into your Wi-Fi settings, you find this in the Wi-Fi settings and you connect to this, so it's not going to be connected to your Wi-Fi. Um, might even want to consider turning off the cellular so you're not getting phone calls and stuff in between. But you can also connect other devices to the same thing. So I can have my scope and my my camera, my, uh, my phone attached to it. And then I can also have maybe like a, an iPad, say if I had a customer or something. I could connect this to the iPad and they can also see the same thing that I can see. So in say you're doing customer work HVAC or something like that and you want to show the customer what's wrong with the unit or something that needs repaired, they, you can connect that other device and show them exactly what it is that you're looking at and um, try to you can explain it a little bit better to a customer that way they can see it for their own eyes hey this is what's going on this is what's wrong this is what needs to be fixed so that way rather than Bluetooth I think if it was Bluetooth you can only connect one device at a time or something like that or, or only so many devices where the Wi-Fi as long as it's within range you can connect to it I have used this I've used it inside the RV a few times uh, when I fix the the loose uh, range hood over top of the stove. I used it to see up inside the space above the hood and below the cabinets. There was a bit of an airspace there that I had to see inside of to make sure there weren't any wires or anything that I was going to tap into when I ran new screws inside the uh, uh, the outer wall of that space to se secure the range hood. I also used it and I'll include these these video clips or these, these uh, recordings that I made I also used it, I've got a leak, and I, I haven't actually fixed the leak yet, I'm still working on that. But I have a leak on my black water tank, uh, or black tank uh, flush. There's a, a fresh water line that comes around to the front of the tank, and there's a valve inside there, or a sprayer inside the tank. And I've got a bit of a water leak right at that connection. Unfortunately, in my case, they installed the tank right up against the front frame rail of the trailer, and I can't get that valve out without doing some damage to something so um, haven't quite figured that out yet in the meantime I, I rigged up a temporary fix so just to allow that water to escape out of the underbelly there's a, a, a weather guard underneath this trailer that allows that, that way that water's got an escape route it doesn't just collect inside there until I can figure out how I want to fix that but I did use this bore scope for both of those to find the issue and um, it worked well. It doesn't have the highest resolution picture in the world, but uh, I would say for the money, I want to say these were twenty or thirty dollars or something like that, twenty-five dollars on Amazon, and it came within, you know, typical Amazon shipping within a few days. Um, I, I would give it a thumbs up. I, I, I like it. It's a reasonable quality. I mean, it's Chinese made, so you know, don't expect uh, you know this thing to last forever. I would imagine. The failure point's probably going to be inside here, either the battery or, or whatever that you're charging, or the, the electronics itself or the Wi-Fi is probably what's going to give up the ghost first. I guess in that regard, it's good that I've got two. I've got one that I can fall back on if I need it. But I can see all kinds of 
uses for this in automotive um, repairs and, and issues with the truck and things. Inside the RV you've got a lot of tight spaces, residential uses, you know, I, farming uses, I, it, the list goes on and on. I can see as long as you can reach it with this length of cord, I can see all kinds of things this thing would come in, ha in, in handy for. So, uh, Like I said, I'll look up the price on Amazon. This isn't a paid endorsement. This isn't um, sponsored in any way by these people. I paid for both of these with my own money. Um, I'm just doing a review on them because I, I think they're pretty decent. They, they, they work. The only real issue that I've had is when I turn the unit on, and I've had it for both of these, these units. So here's the second one here. If I can get it on frame, it's kind of cropped in here. But uh, I've had this issue with both of these. I have used both of them. Um, initially when you turn it on sometimes this the the screen or the the picture the image gets stuck so you know the, and what I found for me the fix was is to take and turn it off shut off the app and open everything back up and it usually it, for me so far everything has worked just fine it, it boots back up just fine and, and it goes from there with that said I appreciate you watching and tuning in if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. That'll keep you up to date on new videos and new adventures coming up. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. That helps out a lot. I really appreciate it. And it lets me know that uh, you like the content that we're doing here. And again, like I said, thanks for watching. And we'll see you all in the next video.